bringing together the aging research, the longevity research, and the orthopedics just makes so much sense to me because people get injured and then later on they de develop osteoarthritis. Why is that, right? And now, not only basic science understanding the pathways and the mechanisms, and this is over here in the, in the, in the lab, but how do we take this information and use it clinically? This is the key. I mean, this is what's been missing in regenerative medicine. We, we understand so much in the laboratory, but we haven't been able to apply it in the clinic. And this research that's being done here in Vail is bridging that gap. And to me, that's, that's exciting. And that's how we need to move forward. Here at this conference, we have an equal number of clinicians and scientists. And there's a lot of dialogue going on. There's a lot of interaction. There's a lot of collaboration. And that's where we're going to see this industry move forward very effectively. What I'm hoping to see is more validation of what's actually happening out there so we can weed out the stuff that's not happening, stuff that's total hype, and also, and, and also really encourage patients and physicians to make sure that whatever biologics they use are safe. If you just give somebody stem cells and their hormones are imbalanced, their diet is off, they have a lot of senescent cells, it's not going to work. But I love the approach here where we are looking at all aspects, the holistic approach to regenerative medicine. To me, that makes so much sense and I'm grateful to see it happen.